What do you need to do to lose £56? Would it be a strong determination, a plethora of extremely heavy workouts, or a strict clean diet? Or maybe a countless amount of failed attempts that drags your happiness and motivation to the rock bottom. I want to change something. All right. At one point, I thought that losing weight was going to be impossible for me. First, you have to know why you want to. Now, it's so important that you're doing it for the right reasons because for so long, I was doing it for the wrong reasons. For so long, I did it because I wanted to look like the girls on Instagram. This made me dislike my body for not looking the same as them. I'd always been a slim child at school. When it got to a period of my life, just before university, I gained so much weight and it was something that was really, really getting me down and it was in a, such a short period of time. I got to the point where I was avoiding wearing jeans. They were just way too tight. Shorts, they were just way too small and nothing ever felt comfortable on me. Sometimes we forget how unhealthy we are. I was convinced that I wasn't eating that unhealthy but then when I really looked into it I was eating a lot of takeaway, a lot of sugar, a lot of Uber Eats, Liberoo so many nights a week and this was something that I didn't even realise until I properly sat down and looked into it. I wasn't living a healthy lifestyle but in my mind I was convinced that there was nothing wrong and I was doing everything I could and nothing was working. When your only end goal is weight loss I made this mistake because you'll be checking the scales every single day, you'll be counting down the days till you get your result and for me this this was a huge catalyst to my unsuccessfulness because it leads to a lot of very quick and healthy weight loss methods and fad diets and we all know those aren't sustainable because you'll lose five pounds and gain it back you'll lose ten pounds and gain back ten pounds and especially this I found that ultimately I'd have this very short period of time where I've lost weight and got to my goal weight but then you gain it all back very very quickly and that conflict and that up and down would really get me down and it'll be much harder for me to want to restart again want to get back into the mojo of weight loss when the goal is to become the healthiest version of yourself as opposed to just losing weight these methods just fall into place and what happens are your healthy habits fall into place and it's very much known the things that we want the least the things that we worry about the least end up coming to us so it's really important to also put that into perspective throughout my journey i was incorporating crossfit intermittent fasting and walking every day i started to see differences and changes for the first time in a long time the main thing i learned is the willpower to continue on because you're gonna have bad days you're going to have more cheat days than you ever even counted for but it's about how you actually bounce back because i found i'd go for three days and stop i'd go for seven days then stop i'd get to a certain weight or barrier and never push past it i never actually was able to say i'd got to my goal weight i'd always get to somewhere near or you know whether it's even 10 pounds away but i'd never say i have got to my actual goal because I'd never be able to push past my seven day barrier, my week barrier where I'd just give up at the end. It's about how you push past these barriers. You can have four days where you think, I don't know if I'll ever be able to get out of my, to get my weight loss mojo back, but it's about how having those four days is so important and promising yourself that on the fifth day, you'll come back even stronger. Sometimes your body needs three days. Sometimes your body needs that rest because actually, sometimes when we get exhausted, hey, it's getting used to a new routine, but it's also telling you that, hey, hey, I need a rest. And giving yourself that time and looking at it as exactly that helps you bounce back even better. I then also learned another catalyst to what makes me gain weight is that the fact that I crave so much. And I had to look at it as, why am I craving so much? Now, sometimes after a really heavy workout, I'll be craving loads of food and think, my body's broken. I shouldn't be craving food after a workout, but it's completely normal. Or I'll have loads of fruit that day. And then, you know, it spikes your insulin, it spikes your hunger levels. And realizing these things aren't because your body's broken. Broken, but being aware of them and timing your workout at a different point of the day where it's not at the end of the day and then you'll be craving at 11 p.m. or 1 a.m. in the morning and really identifying these things helps you to understand how your body actually works for you. I was having loads of salty foods, sugary foods and I had to really identify these and draw these back and have less of them in moderation to really allow myself to stop craving absolutely everything. One thing that's important to remember is expect yourself to have cravings in week three 
four, five, because it's absolutely normal and know your body isn't broken. You just have to look at it as how do I regulate this? And again, like I say, with the workouts, a heavy intensive workout for some people increases their hunger level. So timing this or being aware of this and maneuvering your day-to-day -day routines around this or not having huge massive bowls of fruit, for example, because you know they have the salt and sugar content that's gonna make you crave more because it spikes your insulin and spikes your blood levels. So have those things in mind and maneuver how can I reduce my cravings because again the more we eat the more we crave the less regulated we are and the more we're going to want to eat and we'll never be able to break that cycle. Some of the workouts that I really adopted throughout this as you know the CrossFit now CrossFit is fantastic because that really focused on a building muscle mass building the muscle within my body and as you guys know muscle burning tissue burns more fat it even allows you to burn it in your sleep and this is really fantastic for me because it allowed me to identify okay the more muscle I build up it's not going to be visible muscle because I'm not using extensive heavy weights but you know I'm allowing myself to burn fat at a much faster rate and this is really important to identify because someone could be for example 80 kilograms and someone else is 80 kilograms but you have to remember different body shapes different heights different muscle mass it's going to look completely different your goal weight might be a lot sooner than you realize and if you build up that muscle you're exchanging the fat for muscle and you might have a more visible outlook that you prefer as a weight that's much closer than the goal that you had assumed. So again, building up muscle for me helped me burn more fat. I saw results quicker and also visibly it starts to show so much more. I meet a lot of slim people and then when they tell me their weight I'm like oh my goodness actually we're much closer in weight but they've got a lot more muscle which they can look a lot leaner. So that really helped me within my journey because I ended up allowing myself to look leaner for my body shape. The workouts ended up becoming habits. I was stressing a lot less and this is all the recipes for the best routine to motivate you to want to keep you going. When your workouts are manageable, you're going to be less stressed. You're going to be likely to want to do it again the next day. You'll see results faster if you are incorporating working out as well. Again, remember that 80% is food, but a workout is so important and picking the right ones. I've read so many times that running and walking are fantastic ways to rack up those calories, to rack up the calories burnt, to rack up anything like that. So even incorporating that in my day to day, just allow me to see even more results alongside what I was already doing. So, you know, add these things on top of each other and different methods and habits that you can have in your day to day that really, really help. Another thing I had to throw away and stop doing is weighing myself every day. Now, understanding the difference of water weight or the food that you ate the night before affecting your, your scale results, or maybe it's just a week where at a point in the day where your body is holding a lot onto a lot more weight. So I find it pointless to weigh myself all the time because you have to remember that, again, weight isn't just a number. It's incorporating these healthy habits. So stopping myself from weighing myself all the time, allow me to break free from this and actually feel more productive, happy with what I was doing. And the weight just pass you by because if you think about it this way, three weeks is going to go by. So why not just go for it and stop worrying about the number? Because if you haven't worried about the number for the last two, three months, what's three weeks of not checking and just fully throwing yourself into it going to do? It's going to do so much good for you and you'll probably find out that you don't need to be looking at the scales every single day anyway. Now guys, I hope you have enjoyed these tips and there's something that just really helped me and you guys wanted to know. Some of the things that you know allowed me to feel a lot more positive in my journey and you know things that I changed in order to get to the result that I wanted to get to. I hope you do subscribe guys. Give this video a massive thumbs up. Turn your bell notifications on to get notified every single time that I upload because we have summer shred tips coming very very soon. I'm going to be taking you guys to the gym with me because you guys know I do a lot of home workouts but I thought why not take you to the gym with me as everything's opening back up. Now I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys very very soon. Bye guys!